Hello everyone and welcome to the Very Reasonable Pilots Podcast. I'm your host, Charles Long, and with me as always is my co-host, Jake Gloth. How are you doing this morning, Jake? Hey, Charlie. How's it going? I'm, I'm doing good, you know? I'm just hanging in there. Uh, We're like, nice and intimately close here. You and I'm kind hand? of uncomfortable you and I want to scoot hands? back. And I don't like that your hand's on my knee right now. <laughs> He's wearing shorts every once. So yeah, okay. It's, it's, how is that necessary? I just thought everyone liked him. Right. I, don't, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel safe. So... Uh, what are we gonna do today, Jake? What are we talking about? Well, uh, today is my turn, mm-hmm. um, and I am pitching a better Mandalorian show for Disney+. Plus. Well, that sounds like a terrible idea. Well, I mean, I thought the original Mandalorian show was a great idea, but they didn't do it very well. Wait, you're not... See, so you're... I haven't seen The Mandalorian no. for our viewers at home. So you are not a fan of the show The Mandalorian. Oh, no, I love it. Okay. I love The Mandalorian. Um, but I think they could have done it better. Because, mm. I don't know, I don't like... If they cast you as The Mandalorian. Yeah, because then I get paid for it. No, I love Pedro Pascal. Mm-hmm. But, um... If you're wondering, I spilled popcorn last night, and I haven't vacuumed it up yet. Oh, that's great. I'm going to leave that in, because that's... There's Such a little a bit of popcorn great on the ground. Nugget viewers. of information there. It, oh, there's a, a good chunk of popcorn. It's like mostly kernels. It's it's not good. Kernels, okay. Yeah. Well, um, my character is not a colonel in the army, so that's not related. Um, so the main character. Well, we'll only get to like the win and the setting, I guess. Actually, mm-hmm. probably make more sense than just, just talking about a character. Inverted pyramid. Who, yeah. what, when, where, why? What a journalist we got here. Well, I'm starting with the where and when. So we're doing Star Wars, because it's the Mandalorian. So yeah, Star Wars. Um, and it's during the Empire as opposed to after it. So this is before um, the Rebellion has taken off. Mm-hmm. But after Order 66, all the Jedi, you know, dead or running away. Mm-hmm. Darth Vader's hunting down and stuff. Like Star Wars Rebels time period, right? Yeah. You've seen that show? No, I but I, I know of it. <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. it. Uh, who's Assume Freddy Prince? Oh, watch that. out. No, it doesn't matter. Freddie Prince Jr.'s in it. Who's Freddie Prince Jr.? Um, Fred from from the Scoo- live action Scooby Doo movies. Wait, you telling me the guy that plays Fred? Uh-huh. His actual name is Fred. Yeah, his name is Freddie Prince Jr. That's he was very funny. famous for like thirty hours. Who's he playing it? He's the, the he's the like main leader guy with the goatee and the ponytail. <laughs> Why does he have a goatee and a ponytail? I don't know. It's, it's I, not a good look. I don't know why they keep doing that. Mm-mm. It's a bad look. Oh. If you've got long Get hair... Get some ASMR coffee sounds right yeah. now. Mm, yummy. Uh, why would that... You, he Okay, so what he did there was he poured the coffee into the cup far away from the mic. And then afterwards, he put it really close to the microphone. Um, and he just clashed his cup with mine for no reason. So they could hear the steam. But there was... No, okay, never mind. Let's get back to the Star Wars. So it's set after Order 66, mm-hmm. obviously, as I said. Mm-hmm. Scarlett Johansson, mm-hmm. the main character. She's the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. Her name is either going to be Hela, that's H-E-L-A. Ah, like or a... Or Verse, like a book verse. Oh, or like a reverse. What? What's a reverse? Like a reverse. Oh, like, reverse. yeah. Why'd you say like that? Reverse? Reverse. I don't know. That's what I would say. If, you, if she had a daughter or, she, or a son, they could be reverse... I hate you. Cause you got verse, and then you got I. I got. Well, we're done. This show's over. It's canceled. Congratulations. Everybody. Um. So it. she's a bounty hunter, obviously. Um. And she can't. She can take off her helmet. Mm-hmm. Um. But she like doesn't usually because helmets are cool. Maybe one of oh. like her hair gets stuck in it. So when she takes it well, out, that's just the it, stupidest it's just thing like, ever. Ah! Mm. Yeah, and then it like pulls it. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you know when you got like a like a bike helmet on. You yeah. put it on and then you take it off and like it yanks out your hair. It's not good. I okay, yeah. Wait, does this never happen to you? I and maybe like a little bit, but like not enough that yeah, but I she, would make that reference at this moment. But she's years a, later. She's the woman Mandalorian. Obviously that, you were traumatized by taking your bike helmet helmet off once. I just ripped off all your hair. I don't I think the last time I rode a bike was at least five years ago. Is that bad? It's a long time ago. I don't remember the last time I rode a bike. Yeah. It's probably recent though. Um, like so, it. she can take off her helmet, because I think not being able to take off your helmet is just kind of weird. Though it is cool, because it's mysterious, but like, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Yeah, Pedro Pe- I want to see Pedro Pascal's beautiful face. Nah, he, he's, it's stuck on his head, you gotta butter him up. Okay, so she's a very serious, like, badass character. I'm sort of modeling her off of Clint Eastwood, uh, that's sort um, of my goal. I thought you were gonna say after yourself. You know, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. no. then she'd be like really lame and stupid. 
and she'd probably die in the first ten seconds. Oh, it'd be show. great! And it'd be over. She'd try and take the helmet off and like it would it'd yank out her hair, and she'd trip she'd over, pull off her head because it's so attached to her hair, and it would just rip off her head. And she falls down a flight of stairs, and she dies. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so she's like Clint Eastwood character, you know, really tough, badass, speaks in like one-liners, mm -hmm. and then she's got a little droid. Did you ever play Battlefront 2? Yes. The campaign? I'm sorry that I did, but yeah, I played the campaign with the okay. little backpack boy. Alright, this is the little backpack droid. So she's got like a little backpack droid, and his name is, what did I write down? Uh, something stupid though. Willem. I don't know, it was something stupid though. Oh, um, his name should be Wilhelm, and he should scream all the time. Wilhelm? Wilhelm! That's a, I like, kinda like that actually. Yeah, you know the Wilhelm scream? Yeah, of course I do. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's an every like three seconds in Star Wars. They're like, yeah. oh, a stormtrooper died. <laughs> I love really it. I Wilhelm, love okay. Yeah. And then they could make that scream noise he could all make, the time. I don't actually know. I think he should not make that scream noise. It's I don't just, think I anyone think, should make that yeah, scream noise. Yeah, he makes every scream noise besides that scream noise. He has like a set, like, maybe he's got like sitcom laughter or something programmed in. So the worst possible opportunity this is, is like... a serious show. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but you gotta have some comedy, you know? Think about that episode of Game of Thrones when, um... Pod was, he fucked all those ladies so good they didn't even want his money. You remember that? Wait, I don't see how that's related. <laughs> it's funny. It's, you're, you're supposed to have some comedy in a, in a okay, series. Okay, I guess. Show. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to make the droid like making <laughs> laugh tracks. Or have a huge dick and he has sex Maybe the droid like, could have some laugh tracks. Maybe the, I thought you were just saying, maybe the droid can have a huge no, dick. No, no, no. He no. can. See, three videos maybe if, probably. Uh, maybe if Scarlett Johansson tells a good joke, he'll like play a laugh track. Or like, a, or like someone else plays it. She's got like a shitty one-liner. No, there are, none of them are shitty. I'm writing them, so they're good. She kicks him, like Roundhouse <laughs> kicks him into like a vat of like, you know, uh, liquid nitrogen. And as they're like freezing to death, is like, stay frosty. And then the the robot goes... Plays a laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. That's awful. No, that yeah. sounds kind of evil and weird. Yeah. All right, so first episode, Scarlett Johansson. Verse or hello, haven't really decided. Probably verse. Verse sounds better. Okay. So verse, it's hunting down a person. We're in like a city planet, like Coruscant, but it's not Coruscant. Um, it's... She's running around hunting someone down. Why are you laughing? <laughs> he just made like the weirdest squint laughing face I've ever seen in my life. It's a shitty version of Coruscant, right? It's yeah. like Coruscant. We're shutting it down. All right, so close poor. it up. <laughs> Canceling the show. <laughs> Porosant. Porosant, because they're so poor. You know, I, when I list this on YouTube and stuff, one of the categories I put it under is comedy. And I feel like I have to get rid of that for this <laughs> you episode. You really should. Because you're not funny. You put tragedy. Tragedy. <laughs> I did put drama once uh, for Ooh. one of them. Because Ooh. I don't know why I did that. Sexy. I think I put that for the Matrix one. But, um... Matrix TV show? Question mark? Whoa. Ooh. Ah, oh, you, if you knew how long it took me, to, it took me to make that thumbnail, you would be embarrassed. I would be. I thought you were going to say it, it took me... It's just text, that's all it is, or like a picture of Keanu Reeves. You have no idea how long it took me to write that question mark. And it's going to oh. be the same, it's going to be the same for this one, it's just going to be like a picture of like Pedro Pascal's The Mandalorian, and like... But you should... Draw... Female Mandalorian? Question mark? Draw boobs on the picture. Yeah, that's With what like I'm MS do. Paint. Yeah. I'm going to put like a... I'll put like a little Scarlett Johansson face over yeah. the helmet, too. But like it's gonna Over look weird because it's gonna it's gonna look it's gonna be too big. Yeah. Because the helmet is like bigger than. Or you, or you make it too small and you can just see like the edges of the helmet <laughs> and then her head's there. Oh my god. Okay, so she's on Porosant. She's on Porosant. Uh, hunting someone down. Uh -huh. and the whole episode it's close. You know she's like hunting them. And she's getting close. And the very the climax of the episode is um, when she finally like gets the person. Mm -hmm. The person whips out a lightsaber. Ooh. You're like, what? This guy's got a lightsaber. And they start fighting, and he uses the force, and she kills him. How does she kill him? She shoots him. Oh. I, have, I don't know. This is going to be some... I haven't, I haven't written the combat. I'm imagining this. he's got. she's got, like, these braces that can deflect lightsabers. I don't know why that's the first thing that popped in my head, but Scarlett Johansson and the, the like... Well, if you knew anything about the Mandalorian, uh, you I know the Beskar armor can block lightsabers. Yeah, I know. It's probably me something cool where like, um, it's like they're a, like in the middle of the fight and he doesn't know that he can't break the best girl armor and yeah. she's gonna like put her thing up, or, like her uh, her arm up and it's gonna block Brace. the blade yeah. with her arm and that's gonna be like a big like, what? She can block the blade with her arm? That's so cool. And then she's gonna shoot him in the face when he's surprised. Kick him right in the nuts. Or just shoot him in the stomach because this is Disney Plus and I don't want to see like no. God's I want to see his head turn into ash. Alright, we're not gonna do that. Um, so... 
it's revealed that he's wait, a Jedi, and you're like, wait, our character is a bad guy? Second episode, it's like her turning the bounty into the Empire. You're like, holy shit, like we're following a bad person. It's whoa, Star Wars, why are you still, doing this She stuff? still has the robot that has the laugh track. He's the yeah. comedy sidekick. Yeah, when she hands in the bounty to Darth Vader, he just starts laughing. And it's just the cla- it's yeah, like the it's applause. Clap. Oh my god. Okay, and so we follow her after that. Um, I haven't decided if she's gonna take out another Jedi in the in the season, but she keeps going, doing jobs for the Empire. Yeah. Up until, um, if you haven't seen the Mandalorian, there's a uh, event before that that takes place called the Purge of Mandalore, which is basically where the Empire goes in and kills a bunch of Mandalorians because yeah. they rebel or something. I don't know. And they were doing some Mandalorian shit. And she sees that happens, and that's when she like sort of breaks as a mm-hmm. character um, because she's like, I work for the Empire. But the Empire just killed all of my people, so, you know, I'm kind of upset. Mm-hmm. So she goes out, and she starts to live in the Outer Rim. Um, and she's doing, like, basic bounty jobs. Is there a time there. jump in the series at all? Because I feel like that would make sense if, like, halfway through, you went, like, she or not halfway through, but, like, a few episodes in, you see her being, like, this absolute uh, Imperial badass. Yeah. I'm ima- I, for whatever reason, I'm imagining she uses the lightsaber against the first Jedi to, like, kill him. Mm-hmm. Like... I'm imagining, like, she blocks it, turns it off, turns it around, turns it back on. Stabs him. Stabs him through. Mm-hmm. That's that's just my idea. But, uh, yeah, like, maybe... It would be cool if she kept the lightsaber. Yeah, I was imagining the lightsaber was, like, and then maybe there's a fight with Darth Vader. And she's, like, pulls oh, it out. Well, we're getting there, Charlie. There's a fight with Darth Vader. So, um... Doesn't go well, though. <laughs> so, we get, to, like, so maybe there's a time jump. Maybe she's, like, we skip forward a little bit, and she's in the outer room just doing basic bounty jobs for, like, the huts or something. And um, that's when she gets approached by the rebels who want to like recruit her because they see that she's like a good fighter. She's they don't really know about her, her past and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't know. And she's so she sort of like she joins up with the rebellion. She starts helping them out because she's mad at the empire, and it's all sort of about like anger at that point. Like she just hates the empire. Mm-hmm. And if you played uh, or if you've watched Star Wars Rebels, I haven't seen it, but I know that in the Jedi Fallen Order games. The, like the Inquisitors are a big thing, mm-hmm. and so now instead of hunting Jedi, she's hunting Inquisitors, and so she's killing all the Inquisitors, and it's all about rage at that point, where she's just angry, killing Inquisitors, and over time it slowly develops into like hope, because that's what Star Wars is about: hope and love and all that all terrible about stuff. Hope. It's only about hope yeah, and love. About, yeah, that's what it's all. And about. a drug dealer trying to get his dick wet. Ooh, yeah, on Solo. Yeah, big, big, uh, big. Big point, piece of shit. Point. Love that guy, but he was a real bad guy. Man, uh, he wasn't good. Um, but he end. was cool. He's so he's so cool. He's a cool guy. He's the he's the only man I can think of that can rock a vest well. Yeah, that's probably true. Like I can't think of it. Harrison Ford is the only person on the planet who can rock a vest well. That's a good point. I never really thought about it like that. Yeah, he's yeah. the only guy that can wear a vest. Because like I'm thinking to myself, if you're wearing a vest and you're a normal person, like, is it so? I don't understand what kind of weather yeah. there is where your arms aren't cold, but the warmest part of your body, your chest, is. You know? I, yeah, I don't know. They're stupid. They're stupid to when, guard. Yeah, when would your chest be cold, but your arms aren't? Yeah. I don't see the point of a vest, huh? But uh, I, I always imagine it's hot, so Han Solo wears the vest, and he's just got, like, guns and shit in it. Like, he's got stuff inside. He's got lots of pockets. I mean, he's got some yeah. snacks in there. He's got snacks. He's got a protein bar. Imagine, like, in the middle of, like, a new hope. just pulls out, like, some M&M. Oh, my God. If he just, like, nice. snacking on some combos. <laughs> it's, like, some weird product placement. It's, like, pulls out the M&M, like, holds it up to the camera. He's like, I'm going to eat this M&M now. I'm just Eats it. I'm imagining, like, an advertisement for shit that's not, like, there. Yeah. <laughs> like, yet, that hasn't been invented. It's like... Oh, I just got this McRib. Mmm. <laughs> he pulls out like he's like sitting in the cockpit with Chewie. Pulls out like a McDonald's bag. Like, mm. oh God, Chewie, I'm hungry, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Good thing we've got this McDonald's uh, Big Mac here. Mm-hmm. We can share it. Yeah. Because it's so you know such a big hearty meal. Yeah. Easily uh, eatable by one person or many. Or many, yeah. Leia, do you want some? Because we've got plenty up here. And Luke's like, do you got some for me? And he's like, oh, of course I do. And then C-3PO walks in and they like, just throw... They just shoot him. <laughs> they, throw, they like do that thing where they blow the straws. It's like they tear like off a, the oh end of the paper. Because <laughs> no one likes C-3PO. He's the worst. C-3PO likes C-3PO. Yeah, and? He walks like C-3PO. He does walk like C-3PO. He walk. 
Oh. Ewoks. Ewoks. Like C3PO. Do okay. you really... They thought of him more... They thought of him as a god. Yeah, what do you mean they don't like him? Do you like god? I mean, yeah. If you thought somebody was magic superpowers and should fly around and fucking kill you at, at any point in time, I wouldn't like that guy, but I'd definitely put him in a magic chair and be like, you are our god now. God, you've completely destroyed my uh, train of thought and everything. She's slowly becoming good. And she's like all about like hope and love and she cares about the people she's with now. And it's sort of uh, like the end of so the series. So is there a crew? Hmm? Is there a crew? There's like people she does missions with. Okay. Like, um, I haven't decided who these people are because they don't matter. It's all about her. Mm-hmm. Um, and her little robot sidekick. And it ends with, I haven't decided. Did I write down what the mission was? I don't remember. But basically, um, there's like a final mission that she does that's really important for the rebels. And it's like, this needs to happen. Mm-hmm. And she's the only one, her crew is like the only people that can do this. And she's like getting away. And... They've got the information, whatever it is, and they're all getting away, and they're all slowly dying, like, one by one in the final episode. Like Rogue One style, everyone getting shot or exploding or... Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah, I guess. I was gonna... I don't know, if you played Halo Reach, which Mm -hmm. you haven't... I have not. um, All the characters in that, like, slowly die throughout the thing. Mm -hmm. And I was sort of thinking it like that, so they, like, they're slowly dying, um, each one, like, for, for the mission. And it gets down to just her... And one other character, and the other character, she or he has the information, and Darth Vader's after them. And then the like, they they need to be, they need to stall him for a little bit. So Verse Scarlett Johansson is like, all right, I'll hold him off. And the end of the show is like her fighting off Darth Vader, so that that um, the other guy can get away. And he like, she does a great job in the beginning, like really holding them off. And then all of a sudden it just switches, and uh, it's like. First, the droid gets destroyed. Yeah. And then she gets, like, her arm cut off, and then she's like, keeps fighting, though. But eventually, you know, Darth Vader kills her. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking, sad. like, I'm thinking, like, the hallway scene in and, uh, Rogue One. Yeah. But she fights a little better. I'm so th- it's, like, really scary. It's like a horror movie. Yeah. Like, where she sees him, she, like, shoots at him, runs away, hiding. She sees him again. It's like it's like the alien, kind of. Yeah, from, I'm uh, thinking, you know. like, uh, in any Batman comic, yeah. when he fights a guy who he's never seen before is really strong and mm-hmm. huge. He's just throwing, like, every single thing he's got at him. Yeah, exactly. I, like, she's using all, little, all of her little toys, like yeah. the flamethrower all the Mandalorians have for some reason. Yeah, because it's badass. Maybe she stole the lightsaber and he, like, cuts it in half or breaks it or something. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking, like, the it starts with... Uh, I am thinking of them in a corridor in a spaceship, mm-hmm. and they, like, meet, and she pulls out the lightsaber. It's, like, the first time we've seen it in yeah. a very long time. Maybe for since the first episode, maybe you know you use it more. She like, I wouldn't imagine because she's not a light side character. Mm. I would give her like a one of those yellow lightsabers. Well, she stole it though. Yeah, I know, but I I just I'm imagining because there's always that scene in a Star Wars movie, at least recent or shows or whatever, where somebody's got the lightsaber and they've got the red lightsaber and the other lightsaber and they're clashing and the. They've got red shining on their face, and they've got blue shining oh, on their face. Oh, to, like, show the person's good. Yeah, and, person's bad. and I'm yeah. thinking, like, she's got a yellow lightsaber, because she's not all the way good, but she's also not all the way evil, mm-hmm. either. Okay, yeah, I see that. Because I'm thinking, like, she... You know, she she's... Oh, Mace Windu. Mace Windu, yeah. Oh, my God, if she killed Mace Windu, can that be the first episode? <laughs> she kills Mace Windu's apprentice. No, she kills Mace Windu. No, because Mace Windu's already dead. No, Ma- Samuel L. Jackson said Mace Windu is alive. Okay, no, but we can't, like, retcon Mace Windu alive and then kill him in the fa- first episode. Because that everyone would hate that. They'd be like, <laughs> Mace Windu's alive in the show, that's so cool. And then we kill him right away. Like, first episode, he's dead. Also, dying to a bounty hunter when he killed Django Fett, that would imply that she's better than Django Fett, which I don't want to apply. Imply. Imply. I'm just coffee on myself. That's, that's okay. It's tragic. You'll, you'll survive. It's I okay. probably won't, but... Okay. He'll die. He's not no, Mace Windu. This is the last episode. <laughs> we already declared that earlier yeah. when you made that terrible oh, joke. Yeah. This is what I forgot. Poor Sonic. God, that was just horrendous. That was great. Um, um, what was I talking about? Something about... Oh, yeah, she dies to Darth Vader cool fight maybe like she's about to die at one point then the droid saves her and he like cuts the droid in half and she's like no says the droid's name wilhelm yeah she's like wilhelm no wilhelm ah! and she has like and that's like a moment she like fights better for a little bit like mm-hmm. she fires the little cable thing that mandalorians have for around some his around his feet like an ad at yeah and he falls over and she kicks him right in the head but i don't want it to like i don't want in the fight 
for it to seem like at any point that she might kill Darth Vader. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. Like, I want Darth Vader to be the entire time, like, it seems like he's going to win and she's just surviving barely. Yeah. I don't want Darth Vader to fall over, because, like, I mean, that clunky suit, like, how is he going to get back up? He's not going to be able to get back (laughs) up. You're right. I don't know. Maybe she fires the cable, but he cuts it right away or something. Ooh, or, like, she fires into the roof and tries to pull something down, but yeah. blocks it with the force and then throws the rocks or whatever at her. Yeah. It's all about, like, barely holding him back. It's all about, you know, distracting him enough so that he can't use the force to crush her like a like a can. You know? Because mm-hmm. that's that was always my big thing. Like, if you're a Jedi or a Sith fighting someone who's not a Jedi or a Sith, why don't you just, like... Just smash him. Yeah, like if I was, mm-hmm. you know, Darth Vader, I'd just go and turn a guy into a puddle. Yeah, I don't know why they don't do that. Makes sense that the good guys don't, because they're good guys. Yeah. But the bad guys, I don't know. I don't know why he wouldn't just choke out everyone. Just smash everyone's windpipe yeah. immediately. Doesn't make any sense. Or carry a gun. That's what I would do if I were him. Carry, carry a lot gun. of guns. Oh my god, so many but guns. So uncivilized, Charlie. Says who? Obi Wan. I feel like a. I was st- quoting Star Wars. Then. I know, but that's a stupid quote. They're uncivilized. For a more civilized age. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But I like. How is a sword? How is swinging around basically a glowing baseball bat more civilized than a gun? Because it's like it's like you know it's like swords. They're more. Um, first, there's like a fantasy that they're more like honorable. And yeah. Like, but then it takes see- more skill. But then you see two guys in a machete fight, and it's like, that's not normal. And, it's, and it also is just awful. They're, like, cutting each other up, and it's just yeah. horrendous. I guess with, like, lightsabers, you cauterize the room immediately, so it's, like, kind of, you know... Mm-hmm. But... It's not as bad. There's not blood squirting everywhere. But there is, though. Remember in the first movie when uh, Obi-Wan cuts that guy's arm off in the in the bar, the guy with the nutsack chin? I don't really like that. The guy is, I don't like you. He doesn't like you either. Or something, whatever. Or no, it's he doesn't like you. And then Luke turns away, and he tugs him on the shoulder, and like, I don't like you either. Ooh, I'm gonna be in Rogue One, and it's gonna be real stupid. I don't remember him in Rogue One. What? Rogue One? Yeah, there was the one. They were on. Uh, it was like the um, Jedi planet with the which call it statue that fallen over, and uh, Jin Ursa just run like bumps into the guy. There's two guys, and he's like, I don't like you. <laughs> he doesn't like anyone. He's yeah, that like, guy's a real prick. Maybe he, like, really does like them, and he's just trying to make friends, but I, he doesn't know how to. I hate that I know that guy's backstory. I don't know why you do. I, it's kind of weird, actually. I know his backstory for Legends. He was like, he's like a... God, what a, are you doing, Charlie? He's, what do you do? He's a doctor. Why do you know this? He's a doctor. He's an evil doctor. He does experiments. All right, well, oh, anyway. I gave that guy that nuts Going back action. to Mandalorian. I want to end it mm-hmm. um, with her at least. We're not going to end it on her dying. And that's it. Probably like going back to like the guy that got away or girl that got away with the info, and, like getting it back to the rebels and be like, oh yeah, this was really important. Thank you. And like maybe like it leads into something else that's important in one of the main movies. But, like, but the, what I want to end it with is like uh, Verse loses, mm-hmm. lost the fight. Darth Vader has her like up in the air, suspended, choking her, uh-huh. and she's like, uh, she's like, you lost, we got away. All we needed to do, or like, all I needed to do was hold you off. Uh-huh. And he's gonna be like, uh, congrats, and then just smashes her or neck, twists her head around, and kills her. <laughs> but he's gonna say in the like Darth Vader way, that's like, uh, well, congratulations. Yeah. That was a bad Darth Vader voice, it was but really I, bad. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not James Earl Jones. But the, my goal with that is that like, you get like, he's he's like. Being sarcastic because yeah, she's dead. Because he's, you know, yeah, he just he's a her. dick. He's a real prick, that guy. He's an awful guy. He's a real son of a bitch. Darth Vader. Yep. So, yeah. But uh, he's a great character, and I like when he, he kills people. He, he is a great character. Especially the younglings. I love that. Oh, That's my God. Favorite. I think I have a couple things to say that I want to get recorded, but I think we should end the the pilot part of the show. Because are you fi- you're finished with your Yeah. Pilot. Yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, is that... Do you want Yeah, you can close okay, it. Okay, cool. Uh, well, thank you again for everyone for tuning in to... Or what, what's the... Uh, how do you do a radio station? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you on about? What do you, what do you, how do you do a radio station? Like when you turn, you know... The knob? Yeah, the knob. What's that called? Turning the knob? I don't know what you're on about. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you all for tuning hello? in. Hello? You're leaving. Why would you say hello? Thank Christ. 
Thank you, everyone, for listening to the Very Reasonable Pilots podcast. I have been your host, Charles Long, and with me, as always, has been my co-host, Jake Gloth. Do you have anything that you want to plug, Jake? Anything you want to suggest that uh, the people that are listening hopefully go check out? Well, the Very Reasonable Podcast now has a, a Twitter. A Twitter? And I just fucked up our name. Very Reasonable Pilots, Pilots Podcast. podcast. Oh, yeah. And it's a VRP Podcast. Ooh, VRP, VRP Podcast. podcast. And it's also in the description. So. Thank if you very If you much. forget and don't understand what I just said, then you could just go in the description. Yeah, please go into it. the description. We we work very hard on it. And by we, we I, I write the I was, I was about to say, and by we, I we, mean Jake. All he does is talk, just so you know. I That's just all he talk. Does is talk. I host and I talk. All he does is talk. I physically host it, because we're at my house. Yeah, you can follow me at uh, Charles underscore Lungs at Charles underscore Lung on uh, Twitter and Instagram. I would, to be honest. He tweets a lot. I, like, I see a notification every single day. I don't know why I'm on Twitter, because all I, I like, I just, I hate when people tweet, because I get a notification. Yeah, why, well, you can turn that off, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm on Twitter. Why? <laughs> I hate the idea of Twitter, but I, I have it because, you use it. I don't know. Okay, great. Thank you again for making our, uh, our, uh, podcast a Twitter account at Very Reasonable Pilots Podcast. No, completely wrong. Did you hear what I said? See, if you don't understand what I'm saying, then they probably won't. So it's at VRP. Podcast. Everyone yeah, should go. listen to that. No, you shouldn't. All right, can we just go? What? Aren't you having fun? I was until you started talking. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, have a good one. Stay safe out there.